What up, YouTube? It's your boy Big Cool coming to you from Big Cool Entertainment, and I'm here with another The Walking Dead uh, review. Tonight's episode was not tomorrow yet. It was a very good episode. It started off with Carol uh, in her little zone, uh, taking a shower, baking cookies, acorn and beet cookies, and I guess this is part of a transformation that she's going through ever since seeing The Wolf in the mid-season premiere actually show that he has made some type of change in saving Denise while getting you know bombarded with uh bombarded by uh the walkers and it's kind of causing conflictions with her similar to what um we're seeing and have seen with Morgan this season in his all you know life is precious stance but she goes out in the beginning of the episode happy feeling rejuvenated, giving out cookies to people in the Alexandria community. Uh, community. Uh, the last person she gives cookies to is Tobin, who seems to be her potential love interest. Um, they did share a kiss later on in um, the episode. I'm sorry if I'm spoiling it for anybody who did not watch. I apologize. Um, so if you haven't watched, you know, avoid this video. Um, but back to what I was saying, she share, shares a kiss with Tobin, uh, who says she's like a mother to majority of the people in Alexandria and she she asked him am I like a mother to you he said no you're something else and she goes in for a kiss and you know it seems like she's finally getting over the hump of being single or being you know overcoming the tra the traumatized state she was in and her abusive relationship early with her husband in the beginning of the series seems like she's she's really um you know she really likes Tobin he really likes her and we don't know how far it will go because Tobin a lot of people expecting him to be, you know, killed off by uh, now myself included, but he has made it so far, and hopefully they continue that uh, because it would be nice to see Carol get her, um, you know, a, 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 a man who loves her and protects her and, and treats her uh, um, right. Also, in the episode, you see Morgan um, at the meeting in the church. Rick, Rick and the crew comes back from the hilltop telling them, that we're gonna have a meeting in the church, and you know he's telling them we're gonna have to fight uh, the hilltop. Get will be giving us food in return for protection against the saviors, Negan's group. So Rick jumped on it. Maggie facilitated the deal. Uh, pretty much tied Gregory's hands behind his back with her negotiation tactics and skills, and got a favorable deal for the. Uh, the Alexandrias, but it's gonna come at a cost because ne because Negan's people or are killers. They're brutal killers. They show no mercy, have no mercy. Um, all their morals are long gone. Um, at least majority of them. And Rick is just you know asking people as he's as he's accustomed to doing you know as throughout the show, get gathering them up, asking for their opinion. And obviously, the person who's against fighting and killing is Morgan who has made this big transformation from a guy who's willing um, and ready to kill as to this guy who's reluctant to kill anybody. Morgan says to Rick, you know, we can go up since we can kill him, since we can beat him, what Rick kept stressing to him. Morgan says we can go up and talk to him and tell him we can beat y'all and kill y'all if y'all decide to take it there. But, of course, Rick and the crew strongly disagrees with that because of what Jesus, t you know, a.k.a. Paul Revere, said that they did to a teenage boy. Uh, Negan, Negan beat him with a bat, Lucille, um, as you all know, uh, showed no mercy on a 16-year-old. So what do you think he'll show, uh, or what do you think he'll do to a grown-ass man or woman? He showed no mercy on him. And Jesus already knows that this is not a good idea, as well as Rick. Rick knows it's the time to fight again. Um, they're accustomed to it. They fought with, He fought with Shane. They fought with the people at Terminus. They fought uh, with the governor back and forth, brutal war where it was casualties. And now this is the biggest challenge yet. Everybody is confident, maybe overconfident, in, in, in going into this. But... This is the situation that's presented to themselves, and this is the situation that's at hand, and they're going to have to uh, attack it accordingly. But, you know, Morgan is just not ready to, to you know, take it to the next step and, and kind of compromise his newfound beliefs. But you also had Abraham tonight pretty much breaking up with Rosita. Uh, he was like, she was like, you, you, pump, you packing all your st uh, stilettos 
um, and we're just going for one day, or we the next day we'll be leaving. He said, I'm leaving for good. And what he was saying is that he wasn't leaving the Alexandria's. He wasn't leaving his family, his, you know, his newfound family. He's leaving her. He was, and she said, you know, she started getting hysterical, understandably so. She was like, you're not walking through this door without telling me the reason you're leaving. And he said, when I met you, I thought you was the only girl in the world. But you're not the only woman in the world. And stormed out. She was crying hysterically. You had a, a kind of comedic relief with... Um, Eugene standing in the hallway eating one of Carol's cookies saying it's good you want to try one I proceeded to tell her what kind of cookie it was she slammed the door rightfully so she's frustrated she's upset heartbroken and you know we'll definitely see more of that storyline as the rest of the season progresses and you have a scene with Maggie uh, and Glenn at the table Glenn is trying to talk her out of, of going because you know the pending birth of their child is months away, but he doesn't want to do anything to risk uh, complicating things with, you know, their child, um, you know, cooking in the oven. But, you know, how Maggie is. She's a fighter at heart. She's a strong-willed woman. And she can handle herself for the most part. So Glenn knows that loves her for it and, and, and decides not to protest against it. So she, she goes with them. You have a scene where Pr Priest Gabriel and and Rick surprisingly share a, 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 a you know a joyous moment. Uh, Rick asks him, you know, why why do you wear the, you know your priest outfit? He said, I'm still who I am. At least he thinks he is. And plus, they can't see him um, at night. You know, Rick laughed and patted him on the back, on the shoulder, and, and, and walked off. Carol, you could t you could definitely see they focus a lot on Carol. Um, in this episode, she told Rick that. She was pretty much questioning why Maggie was here and that she shouldn't be here because she's pregnant. But Rick is not the one to, you know, really stop somebody from doing something. Maggie's a grown woman. Um, she knows what she is she getting herself into. But Carol, being the great friend that she is, decides to stay back and, and be, with, be with Maggie because, you know, she's just looking out for her uh, pregnant friend. So they devise a plan. They write it up. It all goes well until uh, a mistake is made where I believe Abraham's at fault. Him and Sasha, you know, are trying to, you know, are killing people, trying to get through a door. One guy sneaks up behind Abraham. Uh, shot, Sasha kills him or stabs him, but didn't kill him. And he was able to reach up and, and sound an alarm, which, you know, notify the people that it was a serious problem. You see Rick killing three or four people. You see Glenn. You see Heath. All going at it, Daryl. Uh, who else? Daryl killing people, and you see, and also you see uh, they that they took the the head of the fake Gregory to the people at the uh, the gates. You know, Negan's man, Negan's men are smart asses, so they was giving hell to to uh, the guy who had um, you know brought the head. He had told him that he broke his hand on his face punching him. They bought it. The other guy went in there to to give uh, get Gregory, not Gregory, Brandon, or whoever it may be. I'm lost his name. Um, back who they was holding hostage, give him to the guy who was with Rick and them. They get him to the car. The guy who one of Negan's guys are stabbed unexpectedly in the back, and then they proceed to pounce on the other guy. You know, and then the attack goes in. They just really go all out with it. Start killing a lot of people. Glenn makes his first official. Uh, Nun Walker kill and it broke him down. He started crying after he killed the first guy. Then Heath was going to do it, but Glenn didn't allow him to do it, so he stabbed him. Uh, Rick also stabbed him, stabbed a guy who was asleep, and that's something Rick is accustomed to. So it's wild, it's brutal, a lot of blood, a lot of shooting, a lot of stabbing. And it was tonight's episode was really good. It wasn't spectacular, but it was a very good episode directed by Greg Nicotero. And Pretty much at the end of the of tonight's episode, everybody the next day is morning time, hugging, saying their goodbyes. Tara leaves. He just wants to get out of there because he's not accustomed to doing this. Especially still getting accustomed to Rick's way of, of handling things and Alexandra's ways of handling, handling things. But he's overwhelmed, needs to go. Him and you know Glenn say their goodbyes, uh, and they go, they drive off, and then you have a guy 
who comes out of one of the rooms, the, the building on a motorcycle. Obviously, it's Daryl's motorcycle. The white, obviously not spoiling anything if you read the comic books. You know, he's captured. He he, he takes Daryl's uh, motorcycle from early on in the episode, in the season. I think episode ooh, three, four, three, five, or six, one of them. But Daryl's pissed off because obviously he knows his motorcycle when he sees it. Uh, they shoot the guy off. The guy gets up. Morgan tackles him. I mean, not Morgan. Daryl tackles him and starts to beat the hell out of him. They threaten to kill him until a woman over the intercom tells Rick and the rest of them to put their guns down. Rick, of course, wants to negotiate or say no. And then she says, well, we have a Maggie or Carol. You look at Glenn's face. He's like, oh, fuck, we in it now. Um, his his face he always gives uh, when they're in a dire situation. But um, pretty much it was a good episode. The next next week's episode is going to be um, better. They didn't show too much in, in the little preview leading up to next week's episode. I'm pretty sure AMC will release a trailer uh, later on tonight, tomorrow, sometime this week with an extended uh, trailer. Uh, maybe some spoilers will be out, but I've been doing a good job of avoiding the spoilers, so that's a good thing. But we're getting closer and closer to Negan's appearance. Um, he's definitely going to be pissed off and angry because this, Rick and the crew have made it known that there's some bad motherfuckers and that they're or they mean business. And Negan is definitely going to respond in a big way, in a brutal way. He's going to cause some heartache for um, the group. Um, come, you know, whenever he makes his appearance. Pretty much assuming it's the season finale, episode 16. Um, episode 16, excuse me. But tonight's episode, I'll give it a 7.5 or 8. It was a, a good episode, a lot of action, a lot of death, a lot of brutal scenes. Um, Rosita's pissed off uh, at Morgan, but really not pissed off at Morgan. Pissed off more at Abraham, but she's lashing out because Morgan broke up with her. So we're going to see how the Abraham-Sasha storyline expands. Uh, how Glenn's storyline expands, how Carol and her transformation um, expands, and if if they allow her to have that relationship with Tobin. But um, this is going to be it for the video. I might do a predictions video tonight, but not most likely tomorrow. I'll also do a video on uh, Tobin and Carol potentially having a, a romance, and could it be uh, an extended one? We're not saying three or four seasons, but maybe into you know, season seven. You know, give her something to be happy for again. And also, she did put a cookie by uh, on Sam's grave site. I don't, I'm glad I thought about that. You know, so now she knows he's dead and, and she kind of feel guilty because she told him about the big bad monsters and that, you know, you can't be scared. And, and that's what he thought about when he seen the little kid and, you know, in the mid-season premiere or, you know, second half premiere. But, you know, anyway, like this video, subscribe to the channel. Um, leave comments in the comment section below. I will be hitting you with a lot more videos this week, I promise. Like I said, interact with me. I interact back. Subscribe to the channel. Favorite the channel. Like the video. Leave comments in the comment section below. Until next time, Big Cool is out. Peace.